Welcome to Data Representation Passages. In this episode, first we're going to talk about what to expect on a data representation passage. Then we're going to talk about some really fabulous strategies so you can nail this passage type on test day. And last, we'll do an example together so you feel really, really good about it. Let's get started. Let's do a quick recap about data representation passages. First, you're going to see three separate data representation passages on the ACG science section. You're also going to have five questions on each of those passages for a total of 15 questions. Okay, and what are data rep? Well, what they are is just a little blurb and then usually a big charter graph and then the five questions will be about what's on that charter graph. Let's look at an example in case you don't remember. So here we go, we have a little intro to our graph or our chart. Next, we've got this really big scary looking chart, but don't worry, we've got great strategies and we'll talk about what to look for. Strategies for the data representation section. Let's take a look. First, this is very exciting. The harder the diagram chart or tables look, the easier the questions are gonna be. It's such a great feeling. So if you're flipping through and you're looking, oh my God, this is a data rep, this passage looks awful. And by passage, I mean really the table, the chart, or the graph, because that's mostly what's gonna make up a data representation passage. And it looks terrible, and maybe there's some, just some really weird relationship portrayed and you're not sure, don't worry. And actually, the harder it is, or the harder it looks, the more excited you should be about answering the questions because the questions will usually be really straightforward and just have you just read straight off that table and chart. So remember, the harder it looks, the easier it'll actually be to answer the questions on the data rep passage. Next, don't read the paragraphs or look at the diagrams. We talked about that for research summary. You'll have an intro before your big charter graph. Sometimes it's huge, sometimes it's short, Either way, you can save time by knowing you don't have to read it at all. The questions are all going to be about things you can pick up straight off of the tables or the chart. Last, really analyze the charts and the graphs. Exactly, because that's what the questions are going to be about. So let's talk about what are you going to look for when you analyze the charts and the graphs. First, what are they measuring? So take a look at it and say, hmm, if it's a, you know, if it's a line graph, what's the x-axis? What's the y-axis? What are the labels here? Just basically, what's going on? Next, are there significant trends? Are there patterns that really stand out to you? As one thing increases, does the other thing decrease? Do they both increase? Do they both decrease? I'm sure my hand motions are so helpful in portraying this relationship. But really, think about what's the relationship here because they'll always ask about that on the ACT. Last, how do the tables and charts relate? Sometimes it's just one big charter graph Sometimes it's two next to each other for a data representation, and then you have to ask yourself, how does the first one relate to the second one? Because they're always about the same thing, so there will always be a relationship between them, and there'll always be a question about that relationship. So those are all the strategies you need to tackle the data representation passages. You're gonna do a great job. Let's keep going, we'll look at a real example, and we'll see how these strategies apply. Here's our data representation passage. So you see, We've got our intro here, kind of a long paragraph describing what we're gonna see in the table. Remember, we don't need it. Let's skip it. What we need is this table, and we're gonna look for things that we talked about before, things like the labels and things like the trends. Here, there isn't another table along with this question, so we're not, we don't care about how they relate to each other, how different tables relate, because we only have 